I'm back. Get it? So, without getting too technical or medical or anything like that, the reason you haven't seen any videos from me lately is because back in June I had a major seizure. So I've been going to doctors and one of the first things they said was, hey, not only can you not drive, you can't do any woodworking either. Yeah, it really does suck, let me tell you. So, I'm on medication now, everything seems to be leveling out okay. I've kind of made an executive decision, I'm going back to woodworking and I'm going to start filming some videos. I could have done some hand stuff, hand plane stuff, or some, you know, small jobs and stuff like that, but I decided just to take it off and just be kind of, you know, lazy. So, this place is an absolute wreck. I haven't been in here in a couple of months except to either pass through or drop stuff off. So I got a lot of cleaning up that I need to do. But uh, we're going to do a project and what I'm going to do is I'm going to build something actually for you. And by you I mean the camera. Because I'm going to build a stand for this camera. Right now you're on a tripod and I'll have to show you that. Maybe I'll film it with my, my phone or something. But basically that tripod is a pain in the butt. Every time I want to move it, I've got to redo the level. I've got to figure out how high I want it and everything else, which I'm going to have to kind of do some of that. But I think I got a better idea. I was watching Bob over at uh, I Like to Make Stuff, I think is his channel. He built one out of extruded aluminum. But yeah, it's still too expensive for me. So I'm going to build mine out of scraps. And we're going to see if we can't make something work. And uh, he said that uh, Blacktail Studios just got one. And he showed uh, his video where he showed the stand he got. Man, he's got high dollar cameras, all kinds of stuff. I got a little red Nikon that I'm using that I couldn't even tell you how old that camera is. Let's get started. I will, uh, like I said, clean some stuff up so I can move in here. And let's build a project. This is the tripod I was telling you about that's such a pain in the butt. You have to unscrew the legs and then you can it, you can get it up really high, but man, it's just a pain. So you'll be happy to know that I found this version of Fusion 360. I think it's called the Caveman version maybe, but uh, this is what I'm thinking. Yeah, don't judge me on my drawing. but. We're going to have a base, it's got some wheels on it, we're going to have some supports that are going to be like 45 degree angles out, and then there's going to be, I'm thinking, I only drew one box, but I may put four boxes around here that fit inside this. We're going to drill some holes through this 2x4, and then I want a saddle that kind of goes around it, that has the, uh, um, the, the, dowels sticking out of it so that I can take a dowel, I can put it in there and set it at different heights and then be able to move my camera. That's the plan. That's what we're going to build. Yeah, I know. I've got too much crap on my on my table. You've seen the plan. Here are the swivel casters. I had these in a box. This box is so old. I don't even know what these casters went to. The Fairbanks company. I have no clue, but I've had these forever, so it's time to put them on a project. So we're going to put them on this project. So there's the casters. I have this piece of three-quarter inch plywood that I'm going to use. It was a different. It was for a different project that I kind of screwed up. So we're going to use that side up. We'll put that side down. Casters will sit on here about like that. Can you see everything? I hope so. There's the two before we're going to use. There's a dowel we're going to use. I haven't decided if I'm going to drill all the holes this size. I'm going to use this for my pegs to hold the camera because it's nice and thick. But I have other dowels that I may use as, as a, a peg to be able to hold that saddle. Now I need saddle material. So now I gotta find something to use to make saddle material. Okay, this 2x4 is pretty rough. We're gonna have to sand this. Maybe I'll run it through the planer. 
we'll see what happens. But we need to smooth it out. I want the saddle to ride on this really smooth. I may wax it too. Um, I gotta find something to be able to build that out of, build this saddle out of. I don't know yet. I haven't figured that out yet. I have a question for you though. So my son just recently moved into an apartment and I went over to help him hang some stuff and accidentally left some tools over there. Well, I called him the other day to say, hey, uh, can I get those tools back? And he said, uh, you can, but I've been using them. So being a dad, I went, oh no, that's okay, just keep them. But the problem is he's got my entire set of drill bits. So if you know a good set of drill bits, please leave it down in the description because I need to find a new, new set of drill bits. All right, hopefully I am not too zoomed in on this and you can see what I'm trying to do here. So I went to Lowe's and I bought bolts and washers and split washers and they didn't have nylock nuts, so I had to get regular nuts. And I haven't really decided which of these casters I want to use. So these have a bigger footprint than these. But the good thing is that if you do that, you can make them line up. So that's where I'm actually going to put the holes. I'm going to make the holes fit this. And then if I want to, I can use these. No, no, no. We're going to see how it comes out. I'll bring you back when I get it done. This is the kind of crap I get wrapped around the axles with. One, two, three. I have three wheels. Okay, well the fourth one I took with me to Lowe's so I could make sure I didn't get something too big or too small. I know I made it home with that wheel because when I was checking out I told the lady, I said, hey, I brought this with me. And I put it in the back. But I've spent the last 20 minutes looking for this stupid wheel and I can't find it anywhere. And my OCD won't let me quit looking. <sighs> okay, on to something else. If you see it, holler. I guess I didn't pay very close attention and I got one that was too big. Great. Alright, and I made an executive decision and I decided to go with the black ones. I heard you. All right, I'm going to be one short, but it'll be okay. Well, this is my old Ryobi drill press. It's a bench top drill press. You can see how old it is by the fact that it's blue. So, somebody tell me how to fix this. That's annoying. Okay, I got the holes drilled anyway. So, let's tighten up some of these bolts. Sorry, your batteries died. And yes, I said batteries. My camera's so old it uses double A batteries. Someday I'm gonna make some money with this channel. When I do, I'm gonna buy a new camera. Okay, so uh, I hope you enjoyed the hand tool work. Uh, we're gonna step it up and get this done. Oh, and just so you're aware, yeah, I did think about using the longer one and just go ahead and putting it in and changing it out later. But the problem with it is that, as you can see, the nut won't go all the way down. So I get to go to Lowe's for one bolt. All right, just like that. We have a rolling base. Look at that. That's going to be amazing. I'm getting excited. Now I need to cut some 45 degree braces, I guess I will call them, that are going to come up from here on the sides to hold the 2x4 that's going to go in the center. 
but I need to prep the 2x4 because I need to drill some holes in it and stuff. So let's prep that 2x4 before we do anything else. Okay, this doesn't have to be super smooth, but I am going to hit it with 120 grit sandpaper just because. I mean, it does have some rough patches and stuff, so I am going to try to knock all that off. One thing I did want to say is, if you are a YouTuber and you have a YouTube channel and you have a woodworking channel and you subscribe um, and you want me to subscribe, put it in the comments down there. I'll come subscribe to your channel. We need to help each other out. I make comments on people's videos all the time, but I don't ever tell them I have a channel because I don't want them to think that they need to come subscribe if they don't want to. So, But on me, you can put it down there and I'll do it. Thanks, neighbor. Sorry, my garage door is open, so we're going to get extra noise. All right, let's get after it. Okay, I've been doing some sanding. Hold still. Did you get some dust in your eye? How's that? Is that better? Can you see something? Okay. So, I have a... Wait a minute. What is... No way. Really? You mean you can go to the home center and buy a 2 before and it's not flat? Holy crap. Well, I already knew it wasn't flat. It's a little twisted, but you know what? I'm a little twisted too, so we're going to use it anyway. I've already sanded it. I wasn't going for glass smooth. Basically, I just want to be able to rub my hands over it and not get a splinter, which I'm there. So, let's move on to the next thing. What is the next thing anyway? I had a plan somewhere. You might see the plan. Okay, we need to drill some holes in the 2 before. That's what we need to do. So we're going to do that next. Who uses a plan anyway? I'm going to put holes every 3 inches. 9. What comes after 9? 12? Uh, but I don't need them below where I'm going to put the supports. So, I looked around to see if I could find support material, and this is what I came up with. Came from a pallet, obviously, and it's got a bunch of nails in it. Then I'm going to go spend about an hour pulling. There's actually two of these, so I can get four supports out of these to be able to use to hold the 2 by 4 Ideally, I would have liked to it for I would have liked for it to have been. The same thickness as the 2x4, but that ain't going to happen. But we're going to move forward with this anyway. So, let me go pull a crap load of nails, and then I'll bring you back. Or maybe we'll do a nail pulling montage. We'll see how this goes. If you're going to use a screwdriver, make sure you use one with a metal end. Otherwise, you'll shatter the, the handle. So... All right, let's see how long this is going to take. Longer than I thought. I forgot, this was a hardwood pallet. Okay, this isn't good. Let me show you something. So I'm not sure what exactly happened. Those of you in the pallet industry might be able to enlighten me, but these nails right here are ground off. It's like they reused this board to make another pallet, so they just cut the nails off or something. I think there's still enough usable wood in this that I might be able to get it out without having to mess with the nails, but let's see what happens. Hey, don't forget to put your safety glasses on. Probably help if you could see something, huh? Here, let me fix you. See what I need to stand for? Alright, that's better. We're going to cut this off right here. And then, this side has all the nails that have been cut off, 
So we're going to cut this off right here. See, if I had a rolling stand, I could have just rolled you over here. Hey, guess what? You're too close. How about there? Can you see okay? No nails. That's a good sign. I sure hope you can't hear my neighbor playing music over there but it's too hot in here to shut the door so we're just gonna try to deal with it and see what happens here make sure it's okay and hopefully YouTube won't notice now let's delicately see if we can get around this nail I'm not going all the way down to the nail. I'm just trying to get it started so I can hit it with a screwdriver and a hammer and break along the line. Hopefully that's enough right there. Let's see if this works. Ha! Look at that. I got a board. Okay, I got my two boards cut, roughly. I didn't want to show you this tool. I don't know if y'all have seen this or not. I'll leave, I'll leave a link to one down in the uh, in the uh, description. This I bought this. This is the Veritas version of this, but I love this thing. I, in fact, I have one that I lost that's in a container somewhere that I need to find. Um, but the cool thing about it is it's a saddle square so you can get your mark but you can also move that mark around your board and then you get a mark all the way around so I love this thing if you don't have one you should probably get one we're gonna call that center doesn't have to be perfect anyway but what I do need to do is I need to figure out where this 2 before is going to sit how accurate do you think my framing square is I am going to draw a line there and I'm gonna draw a line there and then it's three and a half so that is going to be one and three quarters one and three quarters. And right there is where that two before is going to sit. So now let's go put a 45 degree angle on one of these so that we can actually sit it on here and find out where, how long this is about how long this is going to be. I don't need to know exactly yet, but I need to get close. And then we're going to mill this down and make it all pretty. Alright, now, if I stand this up, and then I stand this up, and I make it flat, and get everything lined up correctly, I can make a mark there, and that should tell me how big my brace should be. How about that? So we're looking at a little over 12 and a half. 12 and 5 eighths. So I need two of 12 and 5 eighths, but I gotta figure out what the other two are. 
Yes, I know. I heard you screaming at me that it was only two sides. All right, let's check out the other side and figure out what we got here. Man, if y'all, one of y'all would hold this other side, it sure would make this a whole lot easier to line up. I'm going to call that good right there. I'm going to do my pencil. Hang on, hang on, hang on. Hold the phone. All right. Good enough. So the other side is going to be about 11 and an 8. So we're going to cut those at 11 and a quarter. Make them just a little bit long. This doesn't need to be pretty. It just needs to function. So what I'm going to go do is I'm going to go drill the holes in the 2x4. I'm going to go cut these. Actually, I'm going to mill them and then cut them. I'm going to put two holes here that I can put really long screws up through that 2x4 to help hold it. And then I got to build the little saddle thing that goes around it. So, okay, that's where we're at. All right, let's uh, keep moving. Okay, let me get you in here, see if I can show you this. This is a three quarter inch boring bit we're going to put into my crappy drill press and it's got a stop on it that's right up there so I've got the stop set so that it just barely pokes through the 2 before. now the reason for that is so that what I can do is I can barely poke through and then I can flip the board over and I can finish the cut from the other side and reduce tear out so we're going to try that and see if that works. Is it just me or does that not look centered? Ha! I used the wrong line. Oh well, keep going. At least it's a clean hole. Okay, well, pardon the mess. It's a new day. I didn't get it all done yesterday. Stuff came up, so I wound up having to quit. But, I got all the holes drilled. They look pretty good. Not too bad for a uh, three-quarter inch boring bit. Then, we're going to mount it on that since I got all the brackets made. And we will get that mounted, and we'll get these mounted. And we'll move along okay let's go over the plan and see if you agree so I found these in my stash I'm thinking two of these going up through the 2x4 this way and then I found some other deck screws here that are different sizes I'm kinda thinking these two okay after some further thought and experimentation I don't like the deck screw idea for this part of it. Uh, I am still going to use these two for the bottom, but I think what we're going to do is we're going to go with pocket holes. I did some experiments on 45 degree angle stuff. I think I can make this work. These are going to be a whole lot stronger than this because of the way that these are angled. You can split the wood. So you could certainly build it with this. But if you decide to build it with these, then I would be just really, really careful whenever you're putting these in so you don't split the wood. I've laid out where I want my holes to go. We're going to put two holes right there. I've got this little drill block from Miles Craft here. Man, I've used this thing so much, it's not even funny. See how I'm sitting at an angle here? But I'll get a straight hole with this. So, that's what we're going to use. And I'll leave a link to this down in the uh, description. So you can find it in case you want one. Two perfectly straight holes. Nice. All right. Now let's put this thing in the vise. Well, sports fans, it's been about a week since I've even touched this project. It's been sitting here on my bench just exactly like this for seven days. 
and I have just had so much going on, I just have not been able to get back to this. So today we're going to try to do some work on this and see if we can't get it somewhat finished, at least glued up enough to where I can stand it up and we can figure out what we're going to do from there. Um, one of the things that I had a problem with was trying to figure out how I'm going to actually glue that to that, even though I'm going to put screws in it, because I need some kind of pressure and there's just really not a good way of clamping this down. So what we're going to do is, this is the actual dowel that I'm going to cut to use to make my pin to be able to hold the camera. But I don't know if you can see that or if this thing will focus on it. It's not very round and it doesn't fit through here very well. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to sand that down just a little bit, make it a little more round so it'll fit through this hole. We'll get it through the hole about like that. And then I can put a clamp here and a clamp there and kind of give a little bit of tension to this 2x4 to hold it onto the base. So let's get that part done. All right, I got a little 80 grit here. Let's work on it with this. Try to find the high spot. This thing's not round at all. Now let's try that, see if that works. What the heck, did the wood swell? This was fitting through before, now it doesn't fit at all. Dirty mines. Much better. Okay. Let's do some gluing and screwing. This is end grain to face grain, which really this glue is not going to do a whole lot. I'm just looking for every ounce of stability that I can get. All right, let's pull this back just a hair. I'm trying to keep this lined up as much as possible. get this exactly square the better off I'm gonna be I just need just enough stress to where it'll just hold sure would be nice if one of y'all would hold the other side I know I know I should have had all my clamps ready to go if you haven't figured out yet I'm not a woodworker I'm a hack I don't think it came out the side or anything, so let's put a screw in. Hey, I think I even got a little bit of squeeze out. Nice. Well, that's not going to work. Somehow i got to move that clamp. Alright, let's see if the jaws on this are long enough. Yeah, they are, but the question is, are they going to be in the way? Are you okay? Oh man, I thought I almost lost you. Your battery died. Alright. You all right? Can, can we get back to work now? All right, here we go. Now the plan is to put that 45 degree on here like so. And that is pretty good. That's pretty close. And I think what we're going to do is we're going to pocket hole screw it. We're also going to glue it and we're going to kind of center it as best we can. Remember this board is twisted anyway. So wherever it lands, as long as it looks good and it's flat, we're gonna nail it. So I clamped a square to the other side. Oh, you can't see anything. And you can't see the square either, but I'm using it as a, as a stop. 
so that I can at least get these straight. So now let's drill some holes. Well, it moved. Let's see how bad. You know, it's not exactly centered, but it's close. I think that's as good as we're going to get. I think I can make that work. Alright, I'm going to go do the rest of these pocket holes and I'll be back. And we're back. Oh, get out of my way. Stupid tripod. Okay. We're going with... What are these? One and a quarter? I think these were one. Are those one and a quarter? One inch. I can't remember. Why didn't you look at the package? One and a quarter. And the reason I'm using the outdoor blue ones is because they're the only ones I have in one and a quarter. Next, we are going to take one of the long pieces and we're going to attempt to put this in roughly centered and see how it comes out. Okay, here's the moment of truth. Let's see if it works. I like that a lot. Very, very stable. I like that. Way better than I thought it was going to be. Well, I call that a success. Now we got to build the saddle that's going to go over this. So let's get to work. Uh-huh. Now you can't give me crap anymore about still missing a bolt. Okay, here's what I think I'm going to do. That's how wide the 2x4 is. So cut it about here and cut it in half. That'll give me two pieces I can drill holes in and that'll give me two sides. I think I'm going to use hardwood for the thin sides. and then drill the hole in hardwood so that it'll be more sturdy. I have no idea if this is gonna work. Let's find out. Whoops, didn't mean to kick you. I don't know. Let's go tape it up, see if it fits. Anyone see my blue tape? See, in an organized shop, you can find everything right away. That's not this. Well, I said tape it up, but I don't think it's going to work that well. So, we're just going to hold it this way and put it over it and see if it fits. Alright, moment of truth. Man, that's not even close. Really? Way off. What did I do wrong? Somebody 
hand that to me, will you? Okay, we are going to go old school. I need to drill a one inch hole. This is a one inch hole bit or hole saw. And I am using my wooden clamps because this is a very odd shape. Now, if you don't have any wooden clamps, you need to get some because you won't use them very often, but when you need them, man, they come in really handy. I'll leave a link in the description for some. Oh, uh, let's see here. I need some safety glasses. I need to get John Malecki to sponsor one of my videos so he can send me some free ones. This is as tight as I can make it. I have really got this cranked down, so let's hope this works. It worked! Not exactly centered, but I think it's going to be okay. Alright, let's pull it out and see if the dowel fits. Well, I'm an idiot and I get to set this up again. As you can see, I only drilled through one. I tried to make it centered, but my drill press wobbles a little, so it didn't wind up being all that centered. But I don't think I care. Alright, let's see if this fits. It does fit. Look at that. But I'm going to have to wedge it to make it fit tight, so that'll be okay. All right, let me go cut this other one, and then I got to cut three quarter inch holes in this. Let's put this thing together. That's not going anywhere. Well, those look dry. Let's go cut the wedges off. Looks pretty good. Need to sand that down a little. I think what I want to do is I want to brad nail it with just a couple of brads to hold it while the glue dries. No, no, no. Let's start with this and see what happens. And I need to find some brads. I think I'm going to try one and a quarter. Okay, I don't know if you can see it, but right there, not quite lining up just perfect. So we're going to push down a little, see if I can't get this to line up just right. Nope. Alright, there's my saddle. Now i got to get the glue out of the metal. How am I going to do that? So now the biggest question is, does it fit? I don't know, can you see? Is that good? All right, let's see if this thing fits. I gotta know. Just put that anywhere. Ooh. No, it does not. It is very tight, very, very, very tight. Well, it does. All right, I have more wobble side to side than what I really wanted, but it is very tight coming down the 2 by 4 but it does fit. It's a little looser at the bottom. 
you can't see that, can you? Hang on. Let me back you up. Here we go. This is pretty good, but once you get to here, it starts to catch. So I'm probably going to have to do a little sanding on the 2x4. But it does have side to side wobble more than what I really kind of wanted. So I don't know if I'm going to shim that or not. I may live with it for now. You never know. It could come in handy. I don't know why, but it could. All right. I had a stick around here somewhere. Let's see if the stick fits. Well, it fits, but it's really, really tight. And my sides don't line up for some reason because it's hitting on this side. I'm going to have to re-drill this side and make it just a little bit bigger. But that's okay. One side fits really good. I'll take it. I think it'll work. There's a couple of things I need to do, and I've been needing to do them for a week, and I still haven't been able to get to them. But we're going to try to get those done today. So what I want to do is I want to make sure that the peg can go all the way through the holes. So we're going to drill out these holes, and then we're going to make the peg. Hopefully I can get that done here real quick, and then I can put a bow on this project and call it done. So let's get after it. Okay, here's the parts I've got, and here's what we're going to wind up doing. I am going to cut something probably about that big around. We're going to take this three-quarter inch piece of scrap. And I'm just guessing at the size of this circle as far as that'll be good enough. Yeah, I think that'll be fine. Okay. So now all I need to do is drill a hole in the center of this, cut this circle out, and then glue everything together and we should have a peg. I'll be back in a minute. Okay, you've seen me drill holes before, so I didn't figure you wanted to watch that again. So now we're going to cut this out and get as close as I can and then I'll hit it with a sander after I get it all glued up to round it off. And we got it. Here we go. We're going to glue this in and then I've got a little wedge I'm going to drive in there. And hopefully, this will be done. Hmm, I need a hammer. Now we'll let it dry, and we'll see if that holds. Well, that's it completed. Even with all the bolts in it. Don't you look pretty? Well, there you go. That is a scrap wood camera stand made with scrap time. This thing actually took me, I don't know, three or four weeks to build because I built it 20 minutes at lunch, 20 minutes after work, Things got too hot in the shop. It's still 100 degrees in Texas, so I'm not supposed to get too hot with this medication and everything else I'm on. So, uh, it's built with scrap time, and I still got it done, and it works great. It wobbles a little bit. I may or may not fix that. I kind of like the fact that I've got a little bit of adjustability for the, uh, for the camera, so we'll see how it works. And other than that, that's it. Thanks a lot for hanging around, and I will see you in the next one, or, man, I need an outro for this or something. Go make a thing? No, I think somebody's already got that. Big old fist bump?
No. Almost got that one too. Add a dab of glue. Oh, calm down. What did you think? I couldn't hear you yelling at me? Yes, I'm going to do them all. All right, I would like to thank some people in my life. So at this point, the video is over. If you want to click off here, you can. Um, I do have some outtakes at the end, so you may want to stick around for that. But uh, first off, I'd like to thank my wife. She was amazing. She drove me to doctors. She had to drive me around for three months when I couldn't drive and put up with me complaining and uh, made sure I was taking my medication and took extremely good care of me. And she's just an amazing person. Y'all have no idea. I love her very much. I love you, babe. You have no idea how much. Um, my son showed up, took me all the way across Dallas to go to a uh, woodworking event that I got to meet Drew Witt from Whitworks. Uh, I have a sticker around here somewhere that I need to put up. But um, that was, he took me out there, came back and got me, picked me up, brought me home, way out of his way. Thank you so much, Tiger. I love you. Um, next up would be my brother Rick, his wife Hope. They were amazing. They came and got me at the house. They took me to their house on the weekends while my wife was working and kept an eye on me because we didn't know how this medication was going to level out and all that kind of mess. And so they did that every weekend, never once complained, took amazing care of me and brought me home just anything I needed. It was, they're incredible. My buddy Alan up at work, Alan, uh, he, I live, I work around the corner from the house. So he was able to bring me home at lunch, come back and get me. He would drop me off at my brother's house on certain days. He was amazing. Never complained. Always asking if I needed to go somewhere. Great guy. Um, just awesome. Anne across the street, kept an eye on me. Uh, love Anne to death. Her stepson, Tim and Ethan, I heard mowers going outside, walked outside, they were mowing my yard. Never said they wanted to do it, never nothing. They just came over, mowed my yard, and they did it several times. I have some amazing people in my life, and I'm a very lucky person, and I want to thank all of them. So, there's going to be some special builds coming up that y'all are going to get to see, um, and uh, uh, I'm going to film them all, but so... With that said, uh, stay around for the outtakes, and we'll see you later. I'm back. Get it? So, without not, without, ah, Okay, let's try it again. Get it? I'm back. Man, that hurt. See how they ground off these nails right here? Oh. You can't see a damn thing, can you? Guess what? My lines are on the wrong side. Okay, after some further thought and experimentation... Shut up! Stupid phone. My brother and his wife, Hope. My brother, Rick. God, flies. Go away.